afternoon and welcome back to N8's product live stream. My name is Michelle Botwright and I am really excited to be here with you today. Today we're going to talk about kitchen cleaners and then I'm going to set you up for success next week when we talk about how to make a lip balm or a salve. So get your pens and papers ready because I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to have on hand for next week as well as what we're using this week so that we can together, you and I, one project at a time, one drop at a time, we're going to learn how to utilize essential oils into our home. Okay, so let's talk about the supplies that we will need today. Today, we're going to need a spray bottle because we're going to make a general purpose counter cleaner. That was funny, that's hard to say. Try to say that three times really fast. <laughs> General purpose counter cleaner, gentle purpose. All right, anyway. <laughs> so these are the bottles that I found because I'm looking out for you and I'm going out to see what it is that you would need to go get. These are very, very large, but we're going to start with a small bottle. And what you want to do is make sure that they're PET um, on the bottom. That means that the essential oils won't degrade the plastic of the bottle. But if you're using a smaller bottle, it's going to be just fine. It's uh, As long as we, we use this cleaner up, you won't have any issues at all. You may want to get a funnel. And uh, other than that, we just need water and vinegar. It's so simple. But what's important and the most important ingredient are the essential oils. So today, we're going to use clove. I love clove. And I know that there's just that wonderful, deep, very masculine, smell and also it's a sense of clean and there's lots of antimicrobial properties in clove. We also have oregano which we're going to use. This is a hot oil so we'll talk about this later but it's it's hot to the skin but it's also hot and you better have it kind of oil so we all need oregano. And then we also have our protect blend. If you don't already have that you should get this for sure. Um, and then of course your tried and true staple which is melaleuca oil. And then today we're going to add eucalyptus. So we like to have a clean um, wellness type scent in there. So we'll use that. So these are essential oils for today. And before we get started, I know that you see if you're on the live stream that there's a shop now button. You may click that at any time while we're chatting and put these in your cart. The special this month is if you spend $100, you will get $25 off. This is a one-time use coupon, and here's the code, March 18th, with a capital M. So I'm really excited for you to be able to take advantage of this, which is why I want to also have you make sure that you're writing at the end as I show you the supplies we'll need for next week, and you can just go ahead and order those in. So again, March 18th, and that's with a capital M. All right, so we have our essential oils for today. And actually, I want to use the citrus oil as well because today we're going to make, oops, almost dropped that. We're going to make dishwasher detergent and we're going to use it in a small bin because I would like you to try these and then we can increase the recipe as we go. So let's start with our basic kitchen cleaner. All you need is a bottle. And what I really like to do, and I think I've shown you this in the last two, is that we're actually going to pour a little bit in first. And if you have a funnel, this would be so much easier. I'll show you like there, I'm being very careful. If I have a funnel, I just dump. So you might want to invest in a funnel. I really like that. After we put in one cup of water, I'm going to start adding my essential oils. So we're going to add five drops of clove. And clove is a good of a thicker oil. Two, three, four, five. And again, it's okay if you put a little bit extra in. And then oregano, oregano is so great. One, two, three, four, five drops of oregano. And oregano can be used for other things in the home with your different body systems. It's great for the muscular system. We also have tea tree oil. Tea tree, two, three, four, five, is really amazing essential oil. We actually put it in our, our hand washes here at home too. And then eucalyptus to give it that fresh, clean scent. A lot of people like the eucalyptus cell smell. And then what I'm going to do is take one cup of vinegar and we're going to put that in. Oh, I can already smell it. It's really lovely. This is so easy. This is so much faster than driving to the store and looking through the aisles of cleaning solutions. The other thing is, the cost is so much less. 
So it, it might cost you a little bit more to start. Uh, this bottle was $2. The water is free. The vinegar, as you know, is very inexpensive. So each essential oil drop was probably six cents, and there's four there, so 5, 10, 15, 20 times six, a dollar 20. It's, so this very first bottle will cost you about three or four dollars, but then the next time you make it, it's going to cost you literally 50 cents. So every time you make it, and then you can just shake it up a little bit, and actually my stove is very dirty. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you how this works, if you can see it, that's nice. now. I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't put any citrus oils in. And let me tell you why. Granite is a staple in everyone's kitchen surface today. I mean, most people have granite. And I really think that we should stay away from citrus oil, especially too much on granite, because over time, it will diminish the shine. So if you can stick with the eucalyptus or a clove um, oil, that will literally help save your countertop this is really nice and it smells like super clean and you know what's great is it doesn't have the chemical synthetic smell and I think that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to get away from synthetics we want our bodies to be healthy and well and we don't want it to be bombarded daily by all the different chemicals and if we can one drop at a time uh, bring that down that would be amazing so that's it that is your general purpose household cleaner and it is amazing. So you can use it on countertops, you can use it in the bathroom, you can use it for that. So let's go on to our dishwashing detergent. Now our dishwashing detergent is really great. And what's really amazing that you're going to find over our product live streams is that actually a lot of the same ingredients do can do different things. So this dishwashing detergent can literally, uh, the supplies that you have left over can be used to make dishwasher tabs and can be used to make, um, I'm sorry, garbage disposal tabs that, you know, for smelling up your gunky um, garbage disposal or to get the smell out of your garbage disposal. But it also can be used in trash bags, which is really great. So, you know, when the garbage starts to smell, you can just drop one of these in there um, because our main ingredient is, uh, for a lot of this, is baking soda. So, and baking soda is very inexpensive. You can just get it at the dollar store. So the very first thing we're going to do is one cup of washing soda, which you can get at Walmart. And washing soda is just a little bit stronger than baking soda and a little bit better at cleaning. So you can literally use it for laundry detergent, dishwashing detergent, and you'll see, we'll use it in other cleaners too. So go ahead and buy your box and have it in your home. Then we also are going to use half a cup of citric acid. Uh, citric acid you'll need to order, but citric acid is a wonderful um, cleaner. And then of course we have half a cup of baking soda. And you can see that little, it's so easy. Now I actually forgot to get a spoon, so I'm just gonna use the bottom of this spoon. And we're going to just mix it up. Now as we start to mix it, I wanna consider what kind of smell would I like? Well, I can tell you one that my kids love. And that is Energize. N8's Energize is so good. It's so refreshing that it, it makes you feel like you're focusing. It makes you feel like life is clear. It's a, it's a mood booster. So to put this in your dishwashing too, will give it a nice, oh, and I can already smell it. Very citrusy and we're going to drop. What's great about essential oils in your cleaning products when it comes to dishwashing detergent and laundry detergent is that there's not a lot of mistakes to be had. So if you use a little bit too much, that's okay. Uh, it's not like anyone's putting it on their skin. And we're going to go ahead and put, uh, we're gonna put 30 drops in there, and then we're just going to mix it around. And if you have a lid, you can just smell it. I don't know if you can see the powder coming up, but that is a, releasing all those aromatic molecules. It's marvelous. So that is mixed in there, and I can keep this under my sink, and I just need two tablespoons of this to wash my dishes. Now, can you imagine that we, we're gonna use our baking soda again, our washing soda again, so literally, this is only the cost of the container that you're going to refill 
and really the cost of an essential oil. So make sure you get energized because we might actually use that essential oil next week as well in our lip balms. I'm going to give you some choices next week, but Energize is, it's, it's like a clean laundry, fresh scent, and that's a great thing uh, to come out of your dishwasher. So you could literally, because it's so expensive, take a scoop of this and you could put it in a dish in your sink or you could sprinkle this in your garbage uh, to um, bring out that smell. So that is this simple. Like all of this was so simple to make. And so together, you and I, we're going to find ways to clean the house that are going to benefit you financially and as well as cut down on the synthetic load in your home. So let's talk about next week. Next week, we are going to make lip balms. Now, if you can, these are beeswax is what we need. And beeswax, I think you're going to be able to buy it at a health food store now. I think uh, it's, it's become so popular. But I'd like you to buy it in pellets. If you buy it in a block, you're going to need to grate it before we meet again. Um, but they're just little pellets that you can buy and they last a long time because you're not going to need very much. The other thing that we have, if you have this, is a butter dish. So they, you'll see that they use these at restaurants uh, when they melt the butter and it's a tea tree candle. I really like to use this for home use and I have shared this with no one. <laughs> For all these couple of years that I've made lip balms and salves and everybody on your how-to videos is showing you how to do it on the stove to me this is much simpler it's a lot easier and a lot faster the other thing that I want you to bring for next week is an egg carton if you have an empty egg carton I will show you how we uh, can use that to make uh, lip balms and we will need a lip balm container and it just holds right in there and then we can dump it I just wanted to tell you too that you can use these containers. Now, N8 has some of these, they're clear containers. In fact, if you order uh, the essential oils from this product live stream, we will know and we will throw in uh, three of these containers so that next week we can use two of these um, for you to make your own salve to open. So if you order the, we have oregano, clove, energize, eucalyptus, uh, what's our other old protect blend for sure, or tea tree. If you don't have any of those, put those on your order today and then we will be able to ship out three of these um, salve containers for you to use next week. So if you don't have this, that's okay. Uh, you can take your uh, computer or your iPad to the kitchen and, and get your boiler, double boiler ready. and. Um, and the essential oils for next week that I would probably do is any citrus oil that you have would be great. Some people like grapefruit. I think peppermint would be a great essential oil. Lavender would be a good essential oil. And uh, lemon would be a great essential oil. As long as we keep it very, very light dilution, you won't have any photosensitivity issues. So I really appreciate you joining me today. And again, that code for this month for when you spend $100 and you get $25 off is March 18th with a capital M. And I just wanna tell you how much I appreciate you joining me um, every week. I'm uh, getting a lot of feedback and I'm just really happy that we're creating a community where we're together every week and we know one another. So a shout out to you for being loyal. I appreciate you and at N8 Essentials, we're really committed to providing you with certified USDA organic essential oils, which just is going to give you the greatest peace of mind. And we're here to empower you and equip you to use your essential oils safely and fun, just to have a lot of fun in your home doing things, especially now that the life is so busy. So I'll look forward to seeing you next week where we're going to make lip balms and salves. Thank you and have a great day.